guys let's do the unboxing of the moto g54 obviously it's unboxed when checking but this needs to be set up so we'll do all of that here you can see moto g54 this moto g54 is here it was already unboxed when sorry for the disturbance uh, so i don't know i actually forgot which processor it has we'll see when with all that stuffs okay phone is here uh, told in my home to charge it so it was the charger will be missing but anyways let's set this up first then we'll see yes it has booted let's take this out uh, we'll be setting it up to ask first where is the charger I forgot to ask. Anyways, it should be here only let's see what it comes under 12 or 13 out of the box think shield security by motorola you can already hear hello motor anyways let's start it okay uh, let me bring the phone from which data transfer will begin going on uh, i have removed the back case you can see guys how shiny it is it looks what dynamic you can say this color uh, so guys the whatsapp backup will take some time as no 5g in this area so let us set it up uh, without any <sighs> sim or network i will give hotspot from my phone what has been given uh let's set it up first it's totally stock android guys that's for the benefit of motorola obviously you will not give anything optimize battery usage use absolutely intelligent manage without sending data no no we'll privacy we'll see that later on first set it up then we'll see uh, how is it color is lovely guys but we need to first uh, get a tempered case and one you know it comes with a temp uh, with a film i guess yes i can see you can see guys there's a, a different layer on a display so i guess it has a film uh, the best thing about moto phones is that it is totally stock android okay let's see how much time it does take to set it up anyways guys i uh, got this for uh, fifteen thousand. after uh, adding uh, that card of us it is 12 gb and 256 gb the 8 gb one was not coming into stock so bought this one ignore the background noise guys obviously i'm at my home so there will be <laughs> anyways <laughs> okay it will take some time so i'll stop it for now detail video guys because i will not be here for some time so it's just a setup video and we'll just uh, contain the basic overview of how this phone is or uh, you can say charging speed and all that we'll uh, check this anyways uh, let's set it up for now yep setting up my fingerprint for now okay i've added one of the mobile phone owner and one of me i'll remove it of mine one after it anyways uh, there is no option to uninstall it and yes, it's good because it will be included when wi-fi is available oh then it will take it there is no option to and select it anyways you have to just click on ok a lot of data is going to be gone today lol anyways uh, whatsapp backup is in process 71 mb already done anyways let's stay in touch no no will be not staying in touch Lol. anyways uh, yeah yeah we'll use gestures it's fine we need to tell how to use it this gestures and all because she is used to using buttons i guess uh, let me yeah 
can see there are buttons here so i need to set it up as buttons let's see what we have or what are these apps we have do you have anything all right this will be downloaded but i don't see any bloatware at all literally there is no bloatware thanks motorola for keeping the pixel vibe up Let's see full stock android vibes just literally let me see is there any software update or anything like that because it should be there Yes, here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no. Let's see if we have any updates. Yeah, we have no updates yet. We are on the latest Android version. Security patch is one August. Keep your device safe. No, we don't want to turn on software updates. Uh, I will test some camera and will add it in the camera samples as well. So after all the setup is done, I'll let you know guys how does it work. It was 15,000. Let me see how much storage we have out of all. Uh, yeah. So storage we have is uh, how much? 256 GB in total, 14 GB free. Uh, used system takes 10 GB. All right. Apps which are pre-installed or which needs to be installed. Obviously some apps needs to be uninstalled. Oh, this cannot be uninstalled. This is something what I don't like it. Anyways, let's see how we can uninstall this. I thought there will be no bloatware. Anyways, we'll see how we can do regarding this. This can be uninstalled. Uh, there is no option from there, but from here you can have the option of uninstalling. Yeah, let's uninstall this trash thing. So yeah. So guys, after a hefty meal, I'm here. Uh, we'll continue with the setup. So the charger is here official Moto one I was hoping it would be type C to type C, but it is type A to type C Anyways, it's fine. Let's see how much fast charging it does You can see 33 watt max Or 27 watt max. So we'll test it when charging because it is 6000 mAh guys, so it will take some time to charge anyways let's open it up uh, there's a lot of things to do yeah stock camera we'll see how does it look like well, the colors are looking nice though still waiting to see how good is it that's how we will be knowing taken a quick shot with it uh, okay <coughs> so there is a auto enhance feature we'll use natural tone for now uh, a lot of things need to be done active photos are off timer is off as well need to see in settings what is there AI settings uh, shot optimization huh? all right photo will be high front will be high auto hdr <coughs> yeah this looks nice a shot on moto one efficient videos gestures yeah leveler is nice as well assistive grid is also required anyways basically it is just totally stock android so should be really fine but i will definitely try to install the gcam so that i can get really good output from it anyways let's test it now testing this with the stock camera of the moto g54 hopefully the camera is good the video should be coming nice Testing with the stock camera. I'll move to Gcam so that we can know the difference. Let's see the back now. Okay. Let's see how good.
good is it? Can I distinguish? Like, you can see that saturation can be a little bit improved. Okay, now I can finally see. <sighs> Colors are really nice for the price under 15,000. Actually, this is not under 15, it is almost 18 because I have the top model. So that was 30 FPS. Now I'll record it with 60 FPS so that you guys can know what it is. How you can expect the output from the stock camera application FPS in this uh, front camera, but the colors are extremely coming really, really nice. Uh, it will be very good outdoors. Uh, don't know about uh, what low lighting conditions, but really the photos, the colors are really coming sharp. Still lot more optimization can be done if I'll compare with my phones uh, why is my it's coming a little bit more smoother anyways I'll now go to Gcam so that we can test what really does it offer than the stock camera TP 60 FPS on the Gcam here guys the footage you can say Obviously, I'll say that the footage does quite bit differ from the stock one, but not by much. The stock camera is really, really going good. I'll also add the samples which I have taken with the G cam and with the stock so that you guys can differentiate of uh, what is what. This is all with the G cam. Now, the phone uh, does get a little bit warm but it's not unbearable because I've been using camera for the last like 20 minutes and I'm outdoors you can see the sun here so yeah it does get a bit warm but uh, it is what uh, totally not unbearable you can really hold it so let's now shift to the front camera front camera there is 1080 60 fps so I guess uh, this will be a little bit uh, more better than the stock one. The colors are quite really good. However, there is too much of sunlight here. So maybe it is uh, brightening my face. Obviously, I have all those what face touching all that disabled. After all, the camera is not quite, you know, what bad. It is, you can say it is uh, not that the best. But uh, with Gcam, it gives unbeatable performance the stock camera can really really improve because the camera and uh, in artificial lighting where you are not using natural light but using artificial lights the camera performance is not that quite good with the stock camera with G cam obviously it is good but in outdoors the stock camera does quite perform really well so if you have got this in sale and uh, you are a normal user who just I can't test gaming right now because I don't have Wi-Fi here. When I'll be back there, then I'll try to get it tested. But uh, I don't think that would be quite possible. Anyways, this has 7020, I guess, dimensity, which is uh, uh, better than 750 or almost equal. Or it is far better than 695 Snapdragon. And it is uh, really performing well. Anyways, this uh, variant is 12 GB RAM and 256 GB storage so which will be more than enough I guess so see ya guys need to go down it's getting too hot here <sighs> forgot to tell one thing really really important get a back case guys this the back is really really slippery uh, so there will be one stock case which you will get with your phone but uh, don't use that I guess use a good back case like TP1 or a flip case whatever obviously flip case we guys will not be using it, so we'll be using a good back cover. This phone was for my aunt. She had a Redmi 8 that was uh, what uh, hogging because it had only 4GB RAM. Now this has 
12 GB RAM. Obviously, 8 GB would have been perfect, but as 8 GB was not in stock, so had to go for it. Anyways, so guys, use a good back case. It comes with a film, so you have to remove it so that you can apply your tempered glass. See ya, guys. For 15k, this is a bang for the bucks. I have no issues and uh, outdoor visibility like auto brightness everything really works super notch camera department they need to step up a little bit more obviously in the front camera i guess because back camera is fabulous even the stock one front camera they really need to what step up a little bit more but g cam is there so it won't be much of an issue so uh, there is no also a gif option guys so if you are using stock camera you have to be saving photos like in 8 MB's 1 1 photos will be saved because it will be saved in JPG no IF option so use Gcam because Gcam has that option oh uh, yeah see ya guys